Hello, welcome to ECDA, where we train future civil and structural engineers. Uh, my name is Fasha Uchet. Today, we are going to complete the last part of this uh, video. We have done part 1, part 2, part 3, and today is the part 4 on how to make use of a stone bridge detailing template. As you can see it here, how to make use of this software to detail your drawing after you have finished modeling, analyzing, and design, and you have exported to AutoCAD, and then you have brought it to Porta sorry uh, stone bridge detailing templates as you can see last time we have started this you can see this drawing we have used this uh, stone bridge template you can see to detail this so you can see it the beams everything the slab detailing and everything we have been we have done it up to the last uh, last part so that is that but now the question now is how do you now um convert it to from stone bridge how do you now convert it to pdf at the same time group them as one for printing instead of one one when you finish um, converting them to PDF, then you now send it one one two for them to print for you. It's not too okay. You can just group them as one. Then you send it and everything will appear. It's just one, but when you open it, you see all the drawings. Is that okay? Sorry. So all of this we are going to be doing in this uh, video. So first of all, to start, and there's a way you need to save it, convert to PDF. If not, it will show you it will be in black and white. Is that okay? And if you want it to be colored, how do you go about it? So all of this will be what we'll be explaining in this uh, video. So to go straight to the point, let's start. Now, as you can see, this is how it's expected of your of you to uh, print out your drawing. You can see structural working drawing for the name of your client where you can see it here then after that you have what your general construction and notes there from there from your what you have your um foundation layout it is all of this we have done last time so therefore let's start now for me for us to start this i have to start my printing from this one i press ctrl p yes ctrl p let it come up ctrl p is coming up so okay then i'll have my uh, previous now before previous let's say we are starting afresh you come to what to pdfc you see dwg to what to pdf you click on it once you have done that then you come to this uh, paper size come to paper size and choose iso a4 or a3 whichever one you want to use so we are using a3 so i'm going to use a3 so i'm going to use a3 i'll click on what center fit to paper then center that is that now i haven't done this you can see this place if you, if you put it on a on monochrome is going to come out black and white is that okay it's going to come out in black and white said i use none or akat akat ctp so but i prefer what akat ctp since i want to be what to be in color i'll say yes is that okay i'll say yes and once i've done that the next thing to do you see landscape is what i want not a portrait it's last landscape so i'll click on what i'll come to this place that's what show window do you see window click on the window then i will now come to this place from this point here from this edge here select it and also move to this move it to this good so you can now see i can now have my what my preview so and let's see what we have i can have my preview so you can see it it's going to come out like this clean and clear so that okay so i'll press escape then i will now do what i will now save it so let's wait for it to come up so i'll now click on what on ok and once i click on ok so i'll wait for it so you can now see where do i want it i want to be in my um in my new folder new folder new folder where is my new folder i want a new folder desktop okay no let me go to desktop let's go to desktop desktop okay now from desktop i want the new folder you see new folder i'll click on it then i'll name it as what as one this is now for me i'll name it as one so i'll click on what on save it's already pdf i will click on what on save so once i've done that so let's wait for it it's trying to process it so it's trying to process let's, let's wait for it let's be fast let's be fast about it be fast completed okay okay it's coming trying to open all right um be fast be fast so you can see it now so you can see it that's open then i'll now click on what on a close i will close it i don't want it again i'm done with that so now the next thing is to what to do this one the same way i did that one is what i'm going to do to to this one so i'm going to show you so let's quickly see this is that okay i will also press a ctrl p ctrl p let it come up once i click on ctrl p let's okay i'll just go to previous is that okay previous setting understand so i'll just click on what on window then i'll also take this one so you can see that this one is already highlighted you can see showing that i'm done with this so you can see i'm done with this so i'll now click on this one from here also 
i'll also bring it down to this place here good and fine then i'll click on if i want i'll just preview since it's going to show me the same thing i'll just click on what on ok on ok and then put what number two number two where do i want it to be on my new desktop where's my new folder okay new folder okay new folder sorry that first one okay i think it's there click on ok new folder let's wait for it it's coming up it's coming up let's wait for it it's coming up the general note is coming so you can see it you can see it here it's coming up so you can see it okay then now you can see it from here everything is clean and clear so i'll now click on what on close so the next thing i also come to this place now i'll show you this one this one after this one then i'm going to pause it then the last one then i will now do it together okay so i click on this one cp again cp and let's wait for it cp and let's wait for the, go to previous click on previous it's already on previous so click on this one again click on this one then come to this place you can see that this one is already selected showing that yes i've done this one so i'll now come to this place and do what click on this and then scroll to this place come to this place the edge here click on it then also name it as what um click on okay if you like you preview so for me i want it on my new okay on new it's on new then number three three is okay number three then click on save so let's wait for it to save let's wait for it it's process it's still processing so let's wait for it it's still processing so as you can see so you can see it you can see how the thing came out in colored do you see you can see how it, the thing came out colored is that okay so that is that so now since we have it this way since we have it this way we, are, we have seen how to bring it out in color so that is that so i'll click on what on close okay i haven't closed that one so the rest i'm going to do it is that okay to so reduce the length of this video the same way i've done this one is the same way i'm going to do to all of them there's nothing change is that okay just that this one's number three this one goes to number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine ten eleven twelve thirteen you understand so we're going to have thirteen is that okay if i'm correct yes thirteen so that's when i'm on the last one i'll just do the last one together is that okay so that is there that is that so let me pause this video to reduce the length of this uh, video we'll come back is that okay so thank you very much all right welcome back so now let's now do this one together is that okay let's do this one together Control p so let's wait for you Control p is coming up so you can see click on it again uh, previous plot then click on my window then you can see so let's highlight this one you know, as i was coming like this so that's highlighted this one which means that this was the last one i did so the next one is this one so you can see i click this place then move over it come to this place then come here and also click and once i have click then i'll now click on what on um what's the next thing yes i'll click on okay is that okay i'll click on okay now you can see number uh, 12 is that okay the last number here is 12 which means the next one i'm doing now is 13 is that okay so i click on okay and let's wait for it i'll click on okay so let's wait for it to come up let's wait for it to come up is that okay so it's coming up as you can see it's coming up so as you can see it now so you can see what we have so you can see it can you see it now this is what we have so you can see number 13 so that is that then i will now click on what on a close so now looking at this one now you can see from beginning i've carried you through from beginning to the end on how to convert from your uh, stone bridge this is stone bridge you know when you click on it on your stone bridge so when you click on your stone bridge because i'm using what my type of foundation is what pad when i click on it that's this dialog box that i'm using now we what we pop up which is this one here which I've used the sample here to go to detail this one. All of these have been explained in our part one, part two, part three. Is that okay? So this, this is the part four, which is the last uh, part. So now, what's how to convert it to PDF from Stonebridge detailing template is what I've just shown you now. Once you have done your drawing, finish everything like this, detail everything perfectly as it is, just like the sample you are seeing that I'm using now. Once you have done that, and how to convert to PDF now is what I've we have I've just done which i believe you have gained a lot now the question now is am i going to be printing them one after the other so let's look at it let's see i'm coming let's see let's see the drawing you can see the drawing you can see it one to what to 13 can you see it now now are you going to be sending them one after the other to your to your friend who is a printer are you getting what i'm saying are you going to send it to them one after the other instead of to just have one drawing so now the next thing now is how do you group them to make it one is that okay to make it now maybe the name of your uh, your client is a uh, mr um, mr johnson 
Is that okay? So just save it at Mr. Johnson PDF as simple as that, and you send it to the to your print to for printing. And once you send it as Mr. Johnson, the person that's printing it will see all of this as one. I will just click on it and then send it at once. You in fact within some minutes you are done printing and you are get out you you are out of that uh, of that place. So now the next thing, how do you now convert it to what? Sorry, how do you now convert to what as one PDF? Is that okay? So that's the next thing now. So let's go there and see how that can be done. Is that okay? So as I said, how do you convert it to what to um one PDF? So all we need to do, looking at this our drawing, you can see we save it where inside our folder, isn't it? Desktop folder, isn't it? And look at them here. So how do you go about it? Now I will advise you to have this offline. This is offline. I'm going to convert them, merge them together as one PDF offline because I've already installed it. Is that okay? So I will not come to what merge my I have my merge file, so you can see. You can see merge pdf free do you see now it's an app you can download it so i click on it once i click on it i don't to be online to do that so i'll click on what on add is that okay i'll click on add once i click on add you can see my my pdf that i have already converted using a from a tone bridge detailing template so you can see them one two three you remember isn't it so that is that so i now click select this one then press my shift key sorry uh, yes shift key and click on the last one so you can see all selected is that okay all selected let's assume i've also um created my report design report definitely i will have put it here again i'll have exported it save it here for colon for beam for slab etc everything will be here and once everything is here i'll just select them everything at once i'll click on what on open and once i click on it you can see all of them are here now you can see them if i have up to 100 all of them will be here i'll now click on what on merge and once i click on merge so let's wait for it to come up okay so in case you have not subscribed to equidel i want to say you should subscribe it's very very important at the same time try to like this video it's very important in such by doing that you are encouraging us to do what to do more and you are making others because the more you click on the like button the more other have access they will be able to post this video for others to do what to be able to watch it and also benefit from it just as you are benefiting from it so clicking on like button is very very important as much as you also click on what subscribe button in case this is your first time of watching our video from ekidel is that okay so we have done a lot of videos when it comes to structural design a lot a lot anything you are looking for to make you a better structural design just click on the subscribe button of, of Ekdel before you know it you become you know what you want to become when it comes to structural design is that okay we have done a lot of videos and subsequently since you have clicked on subscribe button all our videos that we are posting newly you will be what will be notified is that okay so don't forget to click on like button is that okay so now i will now name it let's let me now name it as what a maker is that okay and save so let's wait for it is that okay so you can see you can see architect what a maker so instead of me seeing all of them one after the other send it to the, um to my to my printer all i'll just do i'll just send only this one is that okay because inside this one we have all of this so let me now open this one let me double click let's open it and see let's wait for it it's coming up so you can see one of 13 this is now one of 13 as simple as this so you can see very sweet so can you see it can you see it can you see it can you see it general note which is the second so can you see it then can you see this one is that okay which is my foundation layout so you can now see you can see it which this one is my patch base uh, design you can see column so you can see column detail you can see you can see a beam arrangement so you can see first floor you can see the beam detailing so you can see do you see everything now so you can see how it's going so can you see it up to the last one is that okay can you see it can you see, see my slab detailing so can you see it can you see so this is how as a structural engineer this is how it's expected of you to do what to do your work is that okay as we have if you're able to watch part one part two part three and this last part i bet you you are good to go when it comes to what structural um detailing at the same time you that's using stone bridge you'll be able to use stone bridge perfectly well as you can see it i have taught you we have taught you or we have trained you how to make use of stone bridge to detail your work part one part two part three at the same time part four now which is i just we just finished how to now convert your drawing in stone bridge to pdf at the same time to now merge them together as one so as you can see it here as you can see it here is that okay all of this if they're up to 100 if they're up to 100 now i can't be sending 100 things to somebody if they're up to 50 i can't be sending it all i need to do just to make it one is that okay i've made them together i have made them one as i said don't forget to install this 
this particular one install it in your what in your system it's offline this one i'm doing now is offline i made it offline now as you can see it offline so that is a that is that so i'll now click on what on close so in case in case you have not subscribed at the center we have a uh, academic group we have other engineers are there if you are in the course of your design you have any uh, challenges or you have made a mistake you want to know how to rectify it why not once you have joined that group you'll be able to what post the question there or the challenge over the uh, to that group and before you know it all engineers that are available on that group will quickly respond to help you solve the problem also the good news is that Prota structure 2024 is also out so i would advise you to also get that it's very very important it's good 2022 2024 2018 all of them are very very good depending on the design that you're having from what from the architect so that is that so for me i'm using 2018 i'm using 2022 and i'm using 2024 these three that i've mentioned they are wonderful because there are times you get a drawing from architect which you cannot use 2018 you have to use 2022 and there are some that you cannot use 2022 you have to use what 2024 based on the architectural design because architects they are going advanced in terms of their, their drawing likewise we also structural engineer we also be, have to go ahead of them to ensure that yes whatever they bring we have solution to it so i advise you to get proto structure 2024 likewise 2022 is that okay so and to get that it's very simple is that okay so thank you very much god bless you till i see you next time in our next uh, video thank you and remain blessed bye